All right, so we're, we're recording, we're live. So I want to start out with some of the protocols um, for the Ascension. We're going to see, hear, and perceive. And in the end, the Lord will bring it all together. We're going to let the Father take us wherever he wants us to go. Um, we definitely are not going to be going based on any of our own agendas. And since we want to make sure that we all stay together, um, it might take a little bit of time. And I'm going to just make sure that everybody's with each other um, as we move forward. So I don't want to just go somewhere else that the Lord is showing us without everybody being with us. Does that make sense? And then um, all of our voices are important. We're all active participants. Uh, don't be afraid of silence when there is some because we're all um, perceiving and hearing and seeing. And uh, we should hold on and share only when the Holy Spirit leads us to and that there should be no processing. Like um, if we do get a quote from the Bible, let's say, or we get a scripture, um, we can definitely pull up that scripture and see what it's saying. Um, but don't like um, um, read into anything too much. So uh, we choose to align ourselves with a divine right alignment. We place our body under our soul. We place our soul under our spirit and we place our spirit under the Holy Spirit. Uh, we do not lean on our own understanding. So I'm going to start with communion, and um, as, jo as Jane put on her Ecclesia uh, blueprint, that she would rather than um, doing communion based on remembering, she likes to do it based on changing our, transforming our DNA. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, communion. So we engage in the DNA of God. We embrace the transforming power of the body and blood of Jesus. We engage the record containing the light, sound, and frequency of God's image. We embrace the record of the dimensions of the kingdom released in our body by the DNA of God. We engage that DNA record and apply it to our bones. We speak to our marrow and command it to live. We apply the frequency of DNA to transform us into the image of Jesus transform every genetic record, resequence our DNA into alignment. Let's partake of Jesus's flesh. And now we apply the blood of Jesus to transform all impure genetic material. We call it transformed. We apply the blood of Jesus to all iniquitous genetic patterns. We call it to be cleansed. We call all of our genetic material to resonate with the DNA of God and come into alignment with our eternal image. We choose to bear the image of our Father in heaven. We choose to bear the image of our brother in heaven. Let the breath of God be breathed into our lives, transforming us into living beings joined to the Lord and one spirit with him. We speak creative words to our DNA to release the supernatural abilities of God. We trigger the ability to see in the realm of the kingdom. We trigger the ability to move in the realm of the kingdom. And we trigger the ability to transform matter. Let's partake of his blood. So we are going to go in based on Revelations 4.1, which says, come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. So I encourage us all to mute our mics until we have something to say. So right now we're going in, we're going in through the veil by way of the cross. He tells us to come up here.
So I just saw Jesus. He, um, as always, he's opening up his arms to us all. Hugging each one of us. And please contribute. I saw us like in a circle holding hands with Jesus, like all of us, as almost as children holding hands in a circle. I saw that too. Thanks, Wally. Um, over his shoulder, I see a, a path. Um, it's kind of, it's like wide enough for about, I guess, three, uh, three people across. Um, the path seems to be um, kind of paved, and along the path is um, um, not bushes, but it's kind of like it's just you know, I don't know, green grass, not too high, not too short, but just a path um, going behind them. Are you sensing that we should go on the path? That we should walk down the path? Yeah, yeah, I believe. That's what I believe. Uh, it was behind him. It was kind of like he wasn't blocking it, but it was like the path was, you know, you know the scripture comes to mind. He's the way, truth, and life, but it's the way that he's made for us to go. And so, yeah, I believe the path is for us to go up. Okay. So let's turn around or face Jesus, and he'll turn around, walk on the path. I kind of see him in front of us, and I see three, three – Three of uh, I see two and two, so I see him, and then I see us kind of like two and two on the path, and we're kind of skipping. I don't know. If you see mm. like, yeah, so the skipping too. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Diane, are you with us? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Skipping. And I see, I see a bright light behind him, like in, like in front, like when he was facing us, looking at us initially, there was a bright light and it was kind of that path that Wally was talking about. So yeah, I saw that too. And so now we're facing and walking on this path towards this light. Awesome. Like we just keep going. Okay. Um, I see the, uh, the path, it's kind of like a, it's not, it's not uphill, but it's a gradual incline. Has anyone seen that or? Well, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a bunch of butterflies, but. I see like a deer. Huh. Cool. I just see like the, the path has kind of come alive. Is the deer in the, on the path or to the right or the left of the path? I was unsure of that. Okay. Well, actually, it almost seems like a, um, I'm getting more clear on that, and it seems more like an ox in a way. And I, and I sense that he wants us to be yoked right now um, hmm. going up the path. Do you guys still see stairs? Um, I don't see stairs, but I see like the path is going up and down. So it's kind of like stairs and it's ascending. Okay, let's go up then. I see stairs as they're gold, like golden and silver. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. And they're almost like a circular, like a circular staircase, I almost. Hmm. I see clouds, like really thick clouds. But the circular staircase is like going 
through them. I feel like we just went like through the clouds and we're on the we're on the top of the clouds now. Does anybody see a big a building, like a, almost like a castle in the back, like we're supposed to go towards? Does anybody see that with um, like a pointy roof, different steeples? Yeah, <clears throat> we got to the top or the, above the clouds, it seemed like um, they were like, uh, uh, three or more cities in the distance and the one that I saw to the far left uh, no the middle which the far anyway I think the far left one had the the castle slash medieval medieval type pointy buildings yeah so it was like three three city areas that and it was like we had the choice to go to either one of the three so it's got wide open you know, to go either way, either, either place. That's it. I think it was like three cities, but there was, you know, uh, there wasn't a, none of them seemed like to be the, we must go to. It seemed like it was our option. Okay. Well, that's, that's awesome. Cause it'll give us other directions to go next. <laughs> Let's choose the other path. So does anybody get a uh, sense of which one, which path we should follow the left, the middle or the right? I felt right. The right one kind of seems like, um, so do you all want to walk then towards the, um, the, the city to the right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm kind of seeing, seeing like a, like a wall that surrounds it. I don't know. It doesn't look like the pointy steeple one at all. It looks more um, boxy shaped. Yeah. yeah, it's not the pointy one for sure. It was almost like um, um, I, I didn't see a wall. Uh, it was almost like uh, it was but smaller buildings though and like flat top roofs, almost like I was thinking more like village or suburban type dwelling, if that made sense. But definitely a community, that, that's, that was the feel of it. Okay. So when you said that, I got the picture of like a, um, a Middle Eastern type um, village or community, kind of like what maybe um, an Islamic uh, city would look like or something. Like, um, I just almost, I don't know, see a flag, like an Islamic flag. It's kind of weird. Mm. Anybody getting that? Thank you. 
I also feel like we're supposed to put our armor on before we enter. I saw, I kept seeing like a keyhole, like a, a place to put a key, like in front of like, to get into the city. So should we just put all of our armor on, like our, our breastplate and our shield mm -hmm. uh, our shield and put our helmet on and our get our sword and our boots and all that stuff on? Yeah. Before we go through this um this entry with the key. So do we have our stuff on? Mm-hmm. Stuff on. Stuff on. Jessica, you got your stuff on? Your armor? Yep. Okay. So we're going up towards the the um the door. Looks like a big um um wooden door. Is anybody getting a, a, a type of door with the keyhole? Um, I see a, a wood door that's heavily carved and um, I sense that I have a key to this. Yeah, I saw that too, really carved ornately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. like kind of old world looking. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just going to, in faith, just put my hand out like I've got a key and I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wally, you ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. I'm unlocking and let's just all push the door. Ooh. I feel like a um, couple things. One, I feel like we've we we've, we're in like a, almost like a prison with um, uh, prisoners. Which um, and then I also sense like seeing a pile of gold. It did have the. <clears throat> that vault kind of feel to it. Um, but when we opened the door, I felt like um, we let in not only uh, kind of like fresh air, but the light. We were, we, you know, we are, uh, um, we are, you know, city on the hill, the light of the world. So we let the light in, we let the environment in, let freshness in. And um, it, it seemed like it was a sealed place. So that whole prisoner feel is, it's okay and the whole vault field and he mentioned the gold you know so that's uh, we we brought a whole lot to this place but there's also mm -hmm. gold there too that's cool yeah it's almost like a freeing like we're supposed to um free um remove like um i know we're not supposed to um what's my word <laughs> process <laughs> no processing yet. Okay. <laughs> I follow my own rules. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 awesome. With the um the bondage. What are you getting, Jessica? Uh, in the other room with my son. <laughs> I'll be with you in oh. a minute. Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah. sorry. I didn't see you. My eyes are closed. <laughs> uh. 
uh, ability had... to continue on, you know, in through that room. Okay. Then it goes kind of room that we need to keep going, you know, further and not just stop right where we're at. Okay. Did anybody feel like this huge, heavy, heavy, heavy carpet, like a blanket thing? Like, um, I don't know. It just felt like a covering, but really heavy. Almost like a um, um, tapestry. Hmm. I'm seeing thrones. Drums? The what? Thrones? Uh, thrones, like oh, thrones. Yeah, a throne, like three thrones. Huh. Are you in that same room, Jessica? I'm not sure because I was gone for just a minute getting something for my son. <laughs> when I came back in, I saw three thrones. So, yeah, okay. could you describe what you guys were at? Yeah, we left that room and we yeah. just were continuing on. And I, I just saw like a like a big, um, heavy um, weighted carpet tapestry cloth thing, and then you saw the three uh, thrones. Okay. So that's where we're at right now. I keep hearing Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but I don't know. I'm not really sure why. Um, I see a wooden chest, like n kind of off to one side, like two, like the three thrones are in front of me and I'm looking at them and kind of off to the, on the floor, off to the right of the far right one, there's like a wooden chest. It's kind of large and, um, but I can't open it. Maybe all three of us could open it together, or all four of us. All right. Well, I've I've been given like a um, like a um, a tire iron thing as my tool to help open this chest. Has anybody else gotten any kind of a, a tool? I felt like I got a key for it. Well, that would be easy. Woohoo! Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Yay for the key. I'm opening it up right now. Okay. like white lights coming out of it. 
Mm. Yeah, definitely a lot of um, energy and frequency in that thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm almost sensing that we uh, we need to jump in it. Well, let's jump. Let's go. Okay, on the count of three, all right? We'll all go. Okay. We'll, we'll hold hands. All right, okay. one, two, three, jump. <laughs> okay, that's fun. I kind of experienced a slide. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah me slide too. Was it like a tunnel? Because it was like a dark tunnel like that I yeah, felt like. Yeah. Yeah. But it was really fast. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Has anyone come out the other side? Not yet. Okay. Have you? Yeah, I felt like I came out to like a different, like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, it felt like the other side of the world or something. Like, green grass and like... I, I, I'm seeing green grass, yeah. Yeah, and like sun and like some trees and... Huh. I'm getting, I'm getting, yep. I'm getting the word arc. Ooh, okay. Well, this is a much brighter place for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely brighter, definitely happier. Yeah. Hmm. I see a, um, I see a basket of apples. Are we supposed to eat the apples? Yeah, I think we, yeah, we're supposed to go over to the bushel and, um, eat an apple. Are you, are you still in your armor? No. I'm not either. No, nope, I'm not. In fact, I am all, um, I'm seeing like a whole bunch of um, saints and angels joining us. It's almost like a party. I see the lion. Mm. Since we're being given honey, like mm. honey, like in a glass almost to drink it. Like. I'm drinking some of that. Me too. Hmm. I'm dunking my apple into the honey. <laughs> mm. So good. So I, I think the, um, I saw um, like a big um, scroll thing that we're being presented with. Mm. But it's a, it's a casual type thing. It's not like, um, it's not like really, um, 
ceremonialized, ceremonialized or whatever you want to call it. It's more um, like a like a more intimate type celebration with this um, document. I keep seeing the words Ecclesia Framework on it too. It's almost like, okay. What is everybody else getting? Um, I, I feel we got to sign it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Okay. All right. I sense that, yeah, it's an agreement or something. Yeah. Wow. This is so cool. Okay. I kind of got, a, I got, I was handed a gold pen. Like a, one of those ink, um, really cool pens. Hmm. So I, I just saw like blood spots, like, I don't know, just like blood spots on the paper. Oh, awesome. I don't know what that means, but. Well, it's sealed in our blood. And the, and Jesus. I mean, it just, um, what are you sensing? Well, when you said, when you, when Jessica and Wally were saying they needed to sign it, my first thought was it needed to be signed in blood, but I was like, is that right? I was unsure. I'm thinking that um, right next to our name, we put a drop of our blood. Um, I felt like that as we, uh, as, as, uh, as each one of us signed, it felt like the, the words from the scroll, um, went into us. So as we agreed with it, the, the words from the scroll came into each of us. So it was like, um, we were now enabled to do what was written on the scroll. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. So do you mean that the scroll is giving us the ability to do whatever we're supposed to do? Is that what you meant? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, how it says like, you know, the Lord will write his words upon our heart. Yeah. Yes. The words of the scroll went to our heart, if you will, mm. went into us. So that wow. ability to do. Well, actually, so, you know what? Let's, let's, um, let's use that as a, um, uh, a, um, Decree and declare. Mm -hmm. Has anyone read any other words on the scroll or anything? I just saw Ecclesia framework. I, I wasn't able to see anything else except for our signatures in the blood. Is it possible there's a blank? It's a blank scroll? Well, I think it's an outworking scroll. Like, okay. like, um, uh, like it's not done. Yeah, that it was, it's, it's, um, it's in us now to outwork and it will be revealed to us. Right. Um, some of the words that I perceive are um, um, because you are willing to come this far, um, you're now able to hold more of my word, and my word makes you able. Hmm. 
I'm writing that down. So what was that again? Because you are willing to come because this far. because you have come this far. My word has made you able. Um, my my word is making you able to go further. My word is making you able. What did I say earlier? My word is going so far. My words are making you able to. And you will be able. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, because you are willing to come this far, my words are making you able. Yeah. Because you are willing to come this far, my words in you are making you able. In you are making you able. You able. Okay. Because you are willing to come this far, my words in you are making you able. Wow. That's cool. So my, um, so what are you, you guys thinking that, um, it's time to decree and declare this? I got the words, we the people. Oh, you know what? I got that too. That's, yeah. so I was like, man, that was so governmental, but I guess that's pretty, that would be what it would be. That's mm -hmm. awesome, because I got that too, Jessica. I didn't want to say it because I was nervous that it would sound too um, constitutional. <laughs> we don't want to be constitutional or... Um, so what, what was that you guys said? Is we the people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we both got we the people like on the top of it. Um, but I didn't see what your words following that... that um, that. So I think that's, that's what you said is what the Lord is saying to us as we're signing it. And that's why he placed it into our hearts. So, um, do you sense that the ascension is it, that we're we're to decree and declare now, or do you think um, we still have more stuff to um, more places to go? I think we need to um, decree and declare, or like surrender, some kind of surrender of ourselves. Um, that's one thing that I got. So being a decree is kind of like a court order, like a statement of truth that carries the authority of a court order. Um, uh, when we decree God's provision and blessings over our lives, let's see, provision, blessings. So I think what we can say is that um, we decree and surrender ourselves to the work of this ecclesia framework that has been established um anybody else have any other suggestions oh and that we decree um the purpose of this, should we call it a mandate? This scroll thing that we got? Mandate sure. time. Yeah. Okay. 
So we decree um, the purpose of this, this mandate that we have placed within our hearts. And we declare that the Lord has, has said that because we are willing to come this far, that he is making us able. That's a great declaration, really. Mm -hmm. So we want to make ourselves available for God to use, like just to be living sacrifices, just to give ourselves fully to what he is calling us to, like the work of the kingdom, like the realms of the kingdom. Awesome. That he is our reward, that like we are, we're surrendering ourselves to be, to, for his disposable, for, for his disposal for what he has for us to do, like the assignments he has for us to do. And we're like, we're saying, Lord, I'm here, you know, use me. Absolutely. Yep. So, um, I think we, we also, since we were taken out of a real dark place with a lot of oppression, um, and we saw, we were able to see the light of ourselves coming into that place, that that's a representation of what we are to be as this Ecclesia. Mm. And that the, the three thrones that we saw are because I heard um, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that we've been skinned, mm -hmm. we've been skinned with them, and because of that, we were able to then jump through that wonderful treasure chest, which brought us to um, paradise, basically, like crossed over the Jordan. We went through the we went through the the tube into the Jordan, <laughs> the promise. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of like the Jewish Rosh Hashanah uh, party with the apples and the honey. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought of when, you know, when we started describing the green grass and everything, I was like, wow. <laughs> I, I saw dancing. Like I felt like there was like mm -hmm. being, and it was just this joy, just this joy and celebration and happiness. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I think that's why I felt like it wasn't so, like, um, strict or wasn't so um, re regulated. You know, it wasn't like this huge thing that went on. It was more free-flowing and more um, joyful. It was a happy, happy event. Mm hmm So do we have any other um, decrees or declarations that we want to profess while we're here together on this wonderful ascension? I can't wait to share it with everybody. Well, I feel like with the statement of my words and you are making you able, that, that kind of signifies that this is very much just the beginning of a journey for us. So it's not like you said, I made you able, like past tense, you know, he's like, I am making you able. And so it's like, we, we just are going to keep moving forward in this. So um, I feel like this is kind of almost like a blessing upon us. So that's just what I'm sensing from that statement. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have anything else, Wally, to contribute? Because um, this has been a, a really, and then I'll, um, I'll stop recording it if, you, everybody wants to give our last uh, testament, <laughs> our last <laughs> testimony about the <laughs> about this ascension. What, uh, what just we got out of the it? fact that sorry, so just the fact that uh, um, when we make the declaration and we signed, we were in the we were in the middle of uh, other people who've already made those declarations and have already signed a similar scroll. So we have witnesses to our, our witnesses to our activity. Mm -hmm. Yes, there were other people there with us yeah. um, participating in this in the 
signing of that scroll for sure. I sense. Yeah, that. and they're and so they're really a part of the ecclesia because we're one body, you know. Yeah. And they've already c committed, and you know they've done time on Earth and time elsewhere, and and so they're happy that we are have come this far, right? That's the joy and the light that we were we experiencing too. So. So we're not alone in this adventure. That's, that's part of it too. Yeah, mm, definitely. That's awesome. So Diane, any closing remarks before I unrecord? <laughs> mm, just that this was really great. I feel very blessed by it. Yeah, me too. Well, um, okay, I'm going to turn off the recording. Bye for everybody who's listening. Goodbye to everybody listening.